Are you thinking about becoming an electrician, but not sure where to start? Well, the path you choose can significantly impact your career. Hi, I'm Matt from Ultimate Electrician's Guide, and today we're going to compare the two main routes to becoming an electrician, apprenticeships and trade schools. We'll also explore why apprenticeships, especially through the IBEW, are often the better choice. First, let's clear up a common misconception. Apprenticeships and trade schools are not the same thing. An apprenticeship combines on-the-job training with classroom learning. You'll work alongside experienced electricians, typically 40 hours a week, while also taking classes in the evenings or in intensive blocks during the year. There is little cost involved, mostly just for textbooks, and you'll earn a wage and receive pay raises as you progress. On the other hand, trade schools focus mainly on classroom education, covering theory and practical skills needed for the job and future state exams. Trade schools typically don't connect you with employers during your time there. This is important to know because you'll need about 8,000 on-the-job hours to qualify for most licensing exams. And unlike apprenticeships, trade schools require you to pay tuition without earning a wage during your studies. Given the significant advantages in cost and real-world experience, I strongly recommend considering apprenticeship programs first. There are three main organizations, the IBEW, or International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. This is the top-tier union apprenticeship, offering excellent training, benefits, and pension plans. You may hear this program also referred to as the Electrical Training Alliance or the Joint Apprenticeship and Training Committee. There's also ABC or the Associated Builders and Contractors Apprenticeship, and this is the primary non-union apprenticeship program. The third option is the IEC or Independent Electrical Contractors. This is another fantastic option, especially if the first two are not available in your area. The IBW program stands out as the best due to its comprehensive training and extensive benefits. By the end of your apprenticeship, you'll not only receive top-notch education, but also be vested in pension plans and have the flexibility to work anywhere in the country. If you're ready to explore local apprenticeship opportunities, check out the link in the description below. Just enter your zip code to see a map of the apprenticeships near you. Now, let's dive in to how you can apply to these apprenticeship programs. First, you need to choose which apprenticeship program you'd like to apply for. As I mentioned, I recommend the IBW first for its exceptional training and benefits, followed by ABC and then IEC. Once you've selected a program, the next step is to visit the local apprenticeships website and review the application requirements. Keep in mind, Requirements can vary widely between programs and locations, so it's crucial to gather accurate information for your specific situation. Now, start gathering the documents you'll need for the application. Generally, you will need a GED or high school diploma, official transcripts showing completion of Algebra 1 or higher, a valid driver's license and proof of reliable transportation, and proof of citizenship like a birth certificate, passport, or other government-issued ID. If you don't meet the math requirements, don't worry. Contact the Apprenticeship Center as many of them will offer prep courses like the online tech math course provided by the IBW, which can fulfill this prerequisite. Be proactive about requesting your transcripts as well. Some schools may take a few weeks to process requests, and you don't want this to hold up your application. Next, polish your resume. Ensure it's up to date and highlights any relevant experience or skills that could strengthen your application. Thoroughly check all your paperwork to make sure everything is complete and accurate before you submit it. Missing information or documents can significantly delay your application or even disqualify you from the process. Once your application is in, prepare for the aptitude test a standard part of the apprenticeship application process. These tests usually cover math and reading comprehension. To help you prepare, you can find a link to a free practice exam for the IBW aptitude test in the description below this video. After your aptitude test, you'll be scheduled for an interview, typically with a full panel of hiring board members. This might seem daunting, but with proper preparation, 
such as dressing professionally, refining your resume, and practicing your interview skills, you can make a strong impression. Successfully navigating these steps will lead to your acceptance into the apprenticeship program, setting you on a path to becoming a skilled electrician with valuable credentials and the ability to work anywhere in the country. Now, what should you do if there are not apprenticeship programs in your area or if they're full? Trade schools can be a viable alternative. You will want to make sure the trade schools program fulfills state licensing requirements, which typically involves around 600 classroom hours. Start with community colleges for the most affordable options, and be cautious of private institutions charging exorbitant fees. If these institutions are so expensive that they try to get you to take out student loans, be sure to avoid them. That's all for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe for more tips and guidance on starting your career in the electrical trade. Check out the links in the description for some more resources and best of luck with your applications.